This is Christopher John Bjorkness. It is March 20th, 2024. A friend sent me an email with a link to a video about a new AI robot called Figure Zero One, as in uh, Stanley Kubrick's movie 2001. And uh, he didn't include anything other than the link. He made no comment about it whatsoever. So I clicked on it and I watched it and uh, I see all kinds of Kabbalistic imagery in uh, this presentation that they're giving to introduce their new robot. And uh, it has an apple, like the ripened fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, it is mostly composed in black, white, and grays. And uh, why don't we watch it and uh, I'll comment as we go on uh, this Kabbalism that I see in it. And uh, this may all just be me. I don't know if uh, the creators of this intended anything that I'm about to discuss, but I find it very interesting. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? Notice that uh, figure one, as in 2001, as in the firstborn, as in primordial chaos, the firstborn of primordial chaos, as in the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Uh, notice the little spotlight, the light on the head. It's very much uh, like the figure of the moon. It's very much like the light of Hal in uh, 2001. It's an all-seeing eye, and uh, that's just the beginning. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great. So this is all imagery of the Garden of Eden and also of uh, the Kabbalistic Sephirotic Tree of Life, or you could even say the Kelipotic Tree. Uh, the plates and the cups represent the Zer on pin, uh, six of the Sephirot. Uh, the man represents Adam receiving the apple, but the apple is now ripened. Notice that the apple is being given to a man and not to Eve because Adam has been recombined in his androgynous form. The fruit is now ripened and kosher to eat. And, um, the end of the six days of creation is now complete. The 6,000 year cycle of creation is complete. Humankind can now consume the ripened fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and is receiving it to the serpent. And um, I'm going to get into the fact that the serpent originally was a camel and not a serpent and it had legs. So the robot is the serpent that has now had its legs given back to it. The curse on the serpent is lifted because the, the, the fruit is now ripened. Can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Notice that the man speaks very robotically, like the characters in 2001, but the robot has a voice with a personality like uh, Hal had. And notice again that he was asking for something to eat. He is like Eve, but again, he's the androgynous man now. And um, he is dumping trash. The trash represents the Kelly pot. The um, 
the idea that there is a drying rack and the cleansing of the dishes is the rectification of the world. The tikkun olam has been complete. So now the shells can be dried and the vessels are empty and uh, all the rectification has been complete. The serpent has been given back his legs and mankind can now consume the ripened fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and technology will now turn men into gods that have created this robotic life form. And the danger is that the new life form will kill off mankind just as mankind threatened to kill off the gods when mankind consumed the unripened fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now mankind can become immortal through knowledge. Now mankind uh, can regain androgyny through knowledge. And um, I see all of this symbolism in this presentation, whether it was intended by the creators or not, probably not. But uh, I think it's a good lesson that I can utilize um, to uh, reveal some of the secrets of Kabbalah and what is happening today in our modern age with this uh, new technology of thinking machines that interact with humankind. The ripening of knowledge is complete and uh, our replacements have survived, have, have arrived. <laughs> and um, what this portends is that now Esau can be replaced by these robots so Jacob no longer requires the slave of Esau. He now has this robot, robotic slave. So um, other than for sex slaves and other perverse purposes, uh, Esau can now be exterminated and uh, Esau's replacement has arrived. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? on it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. The uh, only edible item was from the tree of death, from the, uh, forbid the forbidden fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's very highly <laughs> symbolic, that that's the only thing that the serpent, the primordial chaos, figure one, the firstborn, can uh, offer as food. The cleaning up of the trash represents the rectification, the tikkun olam of the supernal refuse, the uh, shattering of the seven lower vessels. Uh, they have now been rectified. They're in the drying rack. All the light, the sparks have been released from the... Um, from the supernal refuge, refuse so that the trash can now be disposed of. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. Notice um, it's going from left hand to right hand and the cups represent uh, the middle pillar, the androgynous pillar of the Sephirotic tree of life. So we have the combining of the left and the right and the apple also passed from uh, the right hand to the left hand in uh, very symbolic ways to represent this combining of the uh, polar opposites into one, the uh, manifestation of androgyny through the completion of the left hand and the right hand becoming the middle and becoming, um, becoming unified and becoming the holy one. Again, this is the completion of the cycle of creation. At first, Eve was separated from Adam. Eve has been restored to Adam. So we have the two hands, and then we have the central column representing the combination 
of the left and the right into one. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The Apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the table. The Apple found its new owner. It has passed from Eve to Adam as the completion of the cycle and the ripening of the fruit. Uh, it, that also symbolizes the passing of the birthright from Esau to Jacob through the lentil porridge that was given to Esau. Uh, these are all very highly symbolic of the idea of the firstborn giving over to the secondborn of the female, the primordial chaos, giving over to the light. Tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. See how he consumes the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is now ripe. And uh, the figure of the robot looks very much like the Sephirotic tree of life. You have the head of uh, Adam Kadmon, the Keter, the crown. And then you have Hochma Benah and go all the way down. And you have the groin and everything else related to... Um, Adam Kadmon and the Sephirotic Tree of Life. And again, the passing from the hands is very much the way uh, in Kabbalah, the lightning bolt travels down the uh, Sephirotic tree of life. And then uh, one of the last things I want to touch upon is this idea that the serpent being represented by the robot who provides the forbidden fruit, which is now ripe and no longer forbidden. It's now kosher um, because it has been perfected. The knowledge has been perfected that teaches mankind how to live forever and how to regain androgyny. Uh, ultimately, the knowledge of good and evil is the knowledge that man is composed of the two sexes and that uh, creation can be made by creating children. Children are now being replaced by robots and by uh, homunculi created as immortal androgynes in laboratory. So male and female become one and the fruit becomes ripe, and man becomes gods. Men become gods. There will be 600,000 immortal androgynes to replace humanity, and they will have the will to uh, make chaos do whatever it is they want. And so the uh, serpent, when he gave Eve the unripened fruit, the unripe apple, was cursed to lose his legs and crawl on his belly. So he now has his legs restored and he has to learn how to walk on them again. I think what will happen now is that we are going to have a situation where they next probably work on the speed of the legs because that does seem to be something that was quite slow. Now there was an update from then which did actually show the dynamic walking improvement speed and you can see that it was a little bit faster. Of course humans do walk a lot faster than this and we've seen that the Tesla bot can actually walk a lot faster than this but I do think that this team is moving so quickly that by the end of the year, if we have this thing, I wouldn't say running, but if we have it moving at 100% human speed and being able to talk, you know, in real time conversations like it is, but even. So we're there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the uh, fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is ripe. Soon we're going to start seeing. Uh, Weird little humans being created that are androgynous and supposedly immortal. And uh, Esau is going to be wiped out. And we're all going to be replaced by robots as the slave of Jacob. And uh, where Esau's blessing was to be the soldier of Jacob, uh, the new soldiers are going to be robots. 
So Esau is going to be replaced as both the soldier and the slave, which was his so-called blessing from Isaac when Jacob stole his actual blessing to inherit the world to come. And uh, we're there. <laughs> I've been warning about this. And uh, well, anyway, so uh, I just wanted to explain that and what I see in it. I'm not saying that the creators intended all or any of this. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I want to uh, thank my donors for making this possible. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see all you good people next time. Goodbye for now.